Oh, Ghana. Papa Rowe. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, yes. Anyway. It's, it's good to see you once again. Good to see you too. A, a lot of things tend to happen. Too you know, many. one of the <clears throat> things that I always disagree with the statistical service mm. is the inf inflation figures. Mm. Because if you look at an inflation, basically, the rate at which mm -hmm. goods and price mm -hmm. and goods and services prices mm -hmm. tend mm -hmm. to increase mm -hmm. and that rate mm -hmm. and you tend to look at what is existing on the market i went to buy a bro i had to okay five cities five cities yeah. and then CDs. up ahead that was lagos avenue so i'll forgive his legon people okay. i went to tema is five cities mm -hmm. so they say so, so the one that's and a bit is bigger also close to a shine man so it means yes. that the prevailing price on the market. Oh, that's what Shaman. When you sell five cities, nobody will buy. You have to know. The, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Nobody will buy. I think there's five cities, cities there, but it has uh, to be the one that's two bigger. And three cities. No, no, no. Is four that the cities. Range? It's oh, four, four cities. cities. Yes. Oh, so it's just a difference of one Ghana yes. cities. Yes. Oh, okay. You see, if if we look at some basic food stuff mm -hmm. or items mm -hmm. that are even way up there, and the rate at, at which they were three mm -hmm. months ago, mm -hmm. and they have increased at that rate, mm -hmm. and we're told that. Um, in, in, inflation is at a certain trend mm. now mm. and it's lower than it was in terms of the rate at which it's increasing yeah, yeah. or decreasing. And the prices of goods are still the same on the market, then yeah, it doesn't the, make sense. Yeah, the rate at which they are increasing. Clue? Sometimes I, I wish that the items that they use in measuring um, inflation as right, far as the right, basket is concerned. Right, right. I, I don't, I'm not too sure whether the overages are, are the same mm, mm. because, of course, it's an average that you have to use. Mm. But for those of us who are feeling the pinch, and you know, I put this on my Facebook page, and somebody said, in, if, even in Kumasi, or somewhere just close to Kumasi, it's quite expensive, you know. So, I, I, I don't know. Do you know Klo? Do you eat Agbalika Klo? Uh, I okay. think two weeks ago, I was taking How much did you buy it for? Well... I, I bought a packet 10 cities. So, ah, okay. with the, you know, so they sell it. there's a special vendor in my area, very tiny, small mm. corner. That's what she does to support mm. herself and her family. And I remember that last year, Agbilika Klo, I think, was 20 pesos. So I used to buy five bowls for one. Oh, you mean, so if, if you have one cities, you get five? You get, you get five bowls. No, not the same. Now, on Monday, I craved for Agbilika Klo. Only together, I ask how much it is, and the woman is selling it for one bowl for one Ghana city. So, I mean, yes, Agbalika Klo, Banchi Ayachi. Banchi Ayachi. You're rolling the kids. Now, even the sizes have reduced. They used to be bigger sizes, mm -hmm. but now they are mm -hmm. very tiny mm -hmm. size. So, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying, so we used to talk about things like Kofi Brokman mm -hmm. because it was food hmm. for broke people or for people yes or for people who didn't have a lot of who don't yes have a lot of money Ajit but now Bali. you are talking about a brayatoto or the one that's even mm. been boiled you are talking about agbali kaklo you are talking about bread zokali my goodness you know zokali kuli kuli you are talking about all these tiny bits and pieces that you can snack on but now it's turning out that these mm. items have become luxury on the market. You know the Ebron in Katia? Uh-huh. That one. Roasted, that, the, one the combination, that they, yes. The one they put in the bottle. You know, they have these... Uh, exactly. Yes. Five CDs. For one. Yes. And that thing used to be I one Ghana oh. CD. And sometimes... That thing used to be one CD. One. Just one Ghana. Now it's five CDs. I don't know where we are going. And, and you know that, that sometimes you just want to snack on it and hold on in between meals exactly. so that you don't tend to overeat. Exactly. You know, just to keep, exactly. if you're somebody who regularly doesn't mm. go to the gym, mm. you just want to mm. keep fit mm. and make sure mm. your body's up. Yeah. You just want to, and five CDs. So, now it's so you keep asking yourself, is this a meal? Mm. If it's a meal. Or it's a snack. Or it's a yeah, snack. because yeah. snacks are supposed to be cheaper. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a meal. It's amazing. I don't know. Maybe Daniel can make us for five minutes activate the phone line and see whether exactly. in other areas there are also experiences. The same, right? The price increases at the rate at which we are experiencing it. Because I think when we're on TV, apart from the dress, this one is dressing on. It will be ordinary people. We're not like Montreal, some of those things. So it's a big problem. You know, if we can open the phone line so that, please call, call. So that, let us know. The uh, Saskar service, they'll tell you the thing is 40%. <sighs> uh, it's amazing. But the thing is, the rate at which it's increasing, I think it's faster because of my own experiences. Yeah, in your that pocket. That what the in your official kitchen. statistical service tends yeah. to tell me. Yeah. You know. Yeah.
And, and it's not as if I don't receive the data. I receive the data from Paul. And Paul, Paul Seniaja does great work for the statistical service. But Charlie, let us know what you think. The, what is your own experience? And if, let's say, you're somebody who keeps your household, you give chop money, do you think you are being fair to the one who is running the household with that chop money? How mm. much can you use a day to feed um, yourself if you have a dependent, etc.? I just know what you think. 03-0302-973198. That's the number to call. 03-0302-973198. 03-0302-973198. Those are the numbers to call. Please call us and let's know what the reflection is on your kitchen table, your dining table, or even your cooking pots. My goodness. We're even talking about abelika, clove and snacks and all that. Do you know how much a pound of chicken is now? Or a pound of goat meat is now? Is your jollof rice tasting the same in your homes? Because a pound of goat meat is 25, 30 Ghana cities now, depending on where a, you a buy pound from. Of what? A pound of goat meat. Goat meat? Yes, a pound of goat meat <laughs> is 25 cities. All 30 la, cities, depending la, on la, which area la, you buy it from. La, la. We have our first caller, Mohammed. Ah. You're on the line. Good morning, Mo. Just How when are I you? Said, la, 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 la. Then Mohammed calls. Hello, Sorry. good morning. How are you, Mohammed? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Joje. Joje. Jo. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mohammed from Joje. Joje. Mm -hmm. So Kat you speak a way? Katunov. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, wow. Eh. Okay. Uh, Please, you want to speak away? Please speak away. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Mohammed, but uh, uh, what are these prices you are talking about? On what items or on which commodities? Food items, uh, cosmetics, and some pretty pretty things. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Even for you who 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 goes, goes to, Togo. to Togo or Luma or Asigame to go and bring it. Okay. I think, I think we've, 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 yeah, we, we, we've, we've lost him or her. But um, in, in effect, what, it, was it a he or she? She sounded female. No, it'd be male. Oh, it's a male. Mm. Okay. Oh, so, because the name, too. yeah, she sounded female, but mm. the name is I Mohammed, she, but. I, I, I think she'll be female. Though. Well, so what, what she was saying in effect is that some of them, the traders, are not able to come to Accra to come and buy the goods or the commodities from here because they are too pricey. So now they tend to go to Togo to go and buy all these items to come back into Ghana. And the question is, what are we doing to our economy? If people are finding other ways and means, going mm. into other countries to go and bring goods and bring commodities into this country, then what are we doing? Emmanuel is on the line. He's our second caller. Emmanuel, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Cookie. How are you doing? Where are you calling us from? Yeah, I'm calling. I'm calling from Sakaman. Good. I'm doing well. Please go ahead. Yes, please. Um, yeah, you do. Um, it said four prices are going to drop pretty soon, yeah. but mm. yeah, um, food is still expensive in Ghana because three days ago, um, my wife is pregnant and then she fall like. Eating some bamboo with pepper. So I decided to go and get uh, some tomato and then for her to come and prepare, you know, the pepper. Mm. And could you believe that I bought three tomatoes for five cities? Three? Three pieces? Well, yeah, three, three, three. Mm. Even the, the, yes, yes, three. <laughs> the woman was, the woman even said that, you know, um, it's two, but. Because I decided to come and buy it. Why to so back Yeah, why to so back Yeah, that is a state of our country now. So it's not easy. It's not easy. I it's can imagine. Easy. I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. Yeah, it's not, it's not easy. I it's can imagine. Easy. I'll love, yeah. I'll love to, to your wife and the rest of, of, of the family. 
I hope she stays in good health um, till she delivers. But that's the reality of many mm. people. I mean, now everyone is feeling it. You mm. are feeling the pinch. You are feeling the brunt of it wherever you are, at the pumps and everything. And yesterday, um, during News 360, I listened to one of the SOTs. I mean, um, Judith went to the lorry station. Oh, she and she did. spoke to a lady who is a Trotro mate. I'm not sure if we've got that video ready now. But she said something very phenomenal that okay it's welcoming the transport fares are going down by 10 percent mm. but if it's not going to reflect in the prices in the stores across the nation then it doesn't make sense at all so i want to ask this morning how so anyway robert is on the line i'll ask my question later robert good morning how are you doing this is tv3 new day i'm doing very well great okay. let's hear you uh living conditions in ghana Hmm. If you go to the market sometimes, when your wife goes to the market and comes back, you, you think that she's saving the money you give to her to go to the market. Sometimes, when they prepare food and you sit by your dining table, you are, you are afraid to even finish that, the, the, the food on your dining table. Because, I, I don't know, I don't know, but what the... the what I know is that the center cannot hold. Yeah. Very Everything true. is destroyed. Once once the government cannot take control of the financial issues in the country, nobody, nobody, because the government is afraid to face the problem. That is where we are. Simple things. To want to stay. Uh, Okro, five for five cities. So it means Okro, five for five Yeah, cities. five for five cities. So it means yeah. one finger is one That's is I was one, even it's corrected. one Ghana. It's not Okro. Okra. It's Okra, yeah. Okra. So one Okra. finger, Okra. one Okra. finger is one Ghana. Yes. Okla. Yes. Hmm. Yes. 50 Ghana, one book. Why is it no? Anyway. Now, cassava do. Cassava do. You can buy two cities. It's Agab five cities. What's his name? Agbalimo. What's his name? Agbelimo, yes, Agbelimo. He's cooking on the, on the phone line. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> thank you. But, but that's thank you. The thank you, though. He's a man who cooks. Yeah, he's a man who goes yeah, to the kitchen. You can clearly see that. Yeah. He's in he's charge a, exactly. of, of his a items. A man who buys the... okra and Agbelimo there, you know, say, he but, means But, boss, you do give your money to your wife, make it go by there. No, don't but... Go, don't go to the market and buy it. No, but that's what he said. This that people. you give the money to the wife, uh, and when the food is ready, uh, it, it, because you're scared that once you finish, so it, I, I have this you may one not from to... Nyasa. Mm -hmm. Nyasa says, "Let me keep quiet about the cost of living in this country. Mm -hmm. Things fall apart." And I have Kenzie. Kenzie is a great um, brother of mine, so we all went to Bishop Herman together. He says, "He says Ghana is now a pressurized cookout, just like cookie there." <laughs> we are dying slowly in this country called Ghana. Kenzie. <laughs> Good morning to you, Kenzie. We have another caller. Is it Emmanuel or Joshua? Hello, good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Um, let's have your name, sir. Okay, I'm Joseph. Okay, Joseph. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Tantra Hill. Okay, let's hear you. I think this um, price of food starts going up. I don't know, maybe one day, hmm. Roland or yourself, to visit Agbogbushi. We've been everywhere. <laughs> we do we've been everywhere. But we we've go been once to again. Malata, no, we've, we've been we're... everywhere. Kwasi Ajaso, of, we've been to Kwasi Ajaso. Yeah. I think we'll go again, Kwasi Ajaso. That go waste in the market, you'll be amazed. Hmm. The amount of tomatoes, the amount of onions that rot, hmm. even pear hmm. that rot, hmm. you will be amazed. Hmm. But sometimes, I wonder why the hike in prices, where we can't even afford these things to buy. Hmm. Then at the end of the day, it still goes with a you the trade that you still run at a loss. Yesterday, for instance, I wanted to buy um, tangerine from one vendor. And she said one is one CD, 50 pesos. Which, what, what did you want to buy? Tangerine, tangerine. Oh, tangerine. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh, yes. Tangerine, she said okay. one is one CD, 50 pesos. And wow. I said, okay, I'll give you one CD. Let me buy five. She, she said, said no. no. I uh, one CD, 50 pesos. I said, mm. okay, give me two. That was three CDs. Wow. Only to get home, open the tangent, and there were markets in the inside. Ooh. It's gone bad. But how many people can buy this? You keep it there for God knows how long. So sometimes I think the trader should be considering the little profit you can make on it and it goes, it's fine. Joseph. You buy another one, you sell. But 
They want to put all the profits on just one thing. Okay. Um, Joseph has a point, mm. but can we actually put the blame on these market women? We don't have storage facilities in this country. There's mm. nowhere to store anything. We have no. We don't have anything when it comes to storage. That's why we always go hungry. So the matter is not even food production. I think we produce a lot in this country, but how to store the food so that we can use it over time is the actual problem. If farmers or if the agri ministry or if a country as a whole, we put our minds to producing food, storing the food, and making sure that there is accessibility to wherever these farmers are, pick it. And just like we brought the, the, the food stuff to the agri ministry, if there was a way we could store all these food stuffs that we grow in this country, do you think that we'll be going through that problem? So I understand where you're coming from, Joseph. I side with you 300%, but you cannot blame these market women too much. You think that if she had a place to store the tangerines over a month, two months, three months, they'll be selling it at the prices that they are selling it for. They won't do that. Yeah. They won't. And that's why it resonates with uh, um, Kafui in, in Cape Coast. And uh, it says, Roland, the tomato prices, the gentleman spoke about mm. is real pan the sizes of the tomatoes too and are very small and big oh. even here in cape coast small sizes you see so, and and i don't know if you've so noticed if, oh, no. the rate at which our food serves also perish is on the high yeah. i don't know you can actually buy tomatoes buy lettuce buy anything at all it is put it in the fridge, and as it's in the fridge for preservation, mm. it's getting rotting in the Fantastic. fridge. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Lawyer Sampi Yale, you're 69 years today. Happy birthday, Charlie, this one. Uh, you're a regular uh, watcher and also a visitor to the show, so we appreciate you. Of course, we'll give you a sh shout-out at the end. Mm. We'll have your picture today. Daniel and Oliver promised me that it will be there. But um, we cited this on social media as well. Nice cast. But belonging to the vice president, the campaign is on. <laughs> because it's uh, our first point of discussion, if not our second point. Are we ready? Yeah. That's right. Are suffering. Patients are suffering. Students are suffering. Patients are suffering. Students are suffering. Students are suffering. Teacher trainees are suffering. Nurses are suffering. And nursing trainees are suffering. Patients are suffering. Students are suffering. Hmm. Anyway, the campaign Patients is on. Um, your mama just got elected. So former president Mahama is now the presidential now, candidate. Now you say free Uti. Uti or yeah? Uti boom rough. Oh, okay. I get it. All right. People get money on. Hmm. But anyway, it's a campaign. And the vice president is a distinguished um, person. He has earned his... Um, Livelihood well, so he's, he's breaking ready. the eight. This is how you break the eight. Mm. Yeah, it's it's no mean feat. Nice. And if you mean business in breaking the eight, this is exactly how you have to break it. Because you understand, you have to go to the hinterlands. You have to carry the message to the people. You know, mm. it's like preaching the gospel. The Bible. What did the Bible say? Mm. That go into the hinterlands, preach the gospel, let it get everywhere. So that's exactly where. Um, we are going with this one. You, you, you understand? Because most of the roads are not really good. Mm. You know, so they are not... Cars, exactly. Yes, you need very good cars to be able to like get to... Like Santo. Exactly. All those mm. roads, mm. you understand. And they need to be able to get also into the all, all the nook and cranny in this country to be able to know where the problems are so that maybe we can continue third year of roads and stuff like that, you understand? So this is this is what you actually need. In, in breaking the eight. I don't know why you have a headache over this one, but this is simple arithmetic or mm. um, math. I mean, yeah. it's it's this is how you break the eight. You understand? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You, you need to send it. Like you said, yeah. I think that you have insight into these political uh, yeah, campaigns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I, is how you I think we should make you eight. one of their consultants because the way you know so much uh, about political campaigning. Oh, they should come. We can talk so that we, we talk figures and stuff like that. So instead of maybe waking up every morning to come and talk about them, I'll be one of them to propagate the breaking the AIDS gospel because, yeah, this is how you break the AIDS. No, oh, we're here. Hmm. Well, let me just read some. Shall I say that? So, more, uh, more, Ajimai. 
And uh, Mwajman says that I was shocked to see small, small tomato <laughs> balls oh selling goodness. for two Ghana CDs for just one. Two, two CDs in Takwa. Yeah, it's good. Teacher trainees are suffering. Ampa. And he's a, somebody who is into education. So for Mante in Akosombo, to tell you the truth, marriages are collapsing due to the economy. Yeah, but no, it's oh. true. You don't believe him. You don't well, believe him. Because of the economy. But if you don't I have... think we need to have this discussion. No, Are you sure the economy is making marriages suffer? No, what, what do you think is or happening? Or relationships suffer? No, what do you think is happening? Listen, men love their women, but they are not able to live up to expectation because the expression is not there. How do you express your love? You express your love through money, through mm. provision. Mm. Now, if you can't provide, mm. if there's no money mm. to be able to bless the woman, mm. shower the woman, put mm. food on the table and mm. all that, you think the woman will not leave you? Things are happening. Okay? I see. Things are happening. Don Carlos from Ashaman says, listen. I should tell Things you. Things are happening. Don Carlos from mm. Ashaman says, I should. Ashaman constituency. Mm. Mm. Agrochemicals are responsible for speeding up deterioration instead of preservation of food stuff. Say that again. Agrochemicals uh -huh. are now responsible for speeding up deterioration okay. instead of preservation of food I love him for this one. So Don that's Carlos. A, so that's <laughs> You're exact, loved. I love, I love you for this one. Because also, uh, that's exactly... That's exactly what's happening right now. So the foodstuffs are forced to grow. It's not time for them to grow, yeah. but premature You know, growth. back in the day, you could put tomatoes oh down for a Oh, my God. I'm so, for days. I'm so not even in the kitchen. Sometimes they don't. Yes. You can put your tomatoes down for days in the kitchen. You didn't, you didn't even put it in the fridge, and it could last for a very long, long time. time. Now, even in the fridge, it's getting rotting, and it's just... Amazing. Mm. Tio, Amazing. Tio Adai says, says that goat meat is 35. Did you say oh, 35? Yes, I said 30. You said it's 30. 35. So 35. Uh, and as Cookie said, the statistical service figures are just not realistic. No, no, they are not. So they Cookie not. is hit, hitting the nail right on, on the head. head. Hi, Tio mm. Adai. Are you watching or you are... But he's watching the ah, TV. Okay, okay. He's watching. Ebo some money. Good morning to you. Um, his, his surname is Money, but I don't know if the money is still money in, um, in your account or in your pocket. So he bought some money. Action Chapel, let me know if it's still money in. I call him Mr. Cash, but tell me what the Oh, but if it's Mr. Cash, if, if it's Mr. Cash, then you don't have a problem. Oh, but maybe times have changed. Uh, yeah. Uh, is Alan Tremartin still called Alan Cash? Yes. He's still called uh, Alan Cash. I think there's cash in the campaign theme, the tagline. Ah. Uh, Ah, oh, okay. I see. Alan Cash. Okay. Anyway, is it time? Is it is it time for um, Johnny's bite yet? Well, good morning. Let me say hello to Guy G. Who's that? It's one of the prominent, one of the prominent people that Wait. we know. Guy G. Good morning to you. And uh, please, you still owe me that interview, so make sure you arrange it. Guy G. Guy G. Guy G. Guy G is one of the yeah. Kofi Tonto, too, good morning to you. That's a great Yeah, he guy. was here yesterday. You guys gave him mm. a run for his money mm. yesterday. He wasn't quite excited about it. Oh, really? You guys were heckling him. Yeah, but it's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. Anyway. <sighs> Are we mm. ready? Okay, so I have this one also from uh, this last one. Oh, let's go, Zane. Um, so, uh, Ni Money, who is based in the UK, said, say, good morning. It shouldn't affect the prices on market because the market women have already bought the products at a high price. Yeah, that was good economic thinking. Anyway, he, well, he's making economic sense though. Mm, 